my name is Anat Spiegel. I'm a singer and a composer. And this here is Sharon Minailo. He's an opera director. Hello. We've been good friends and collaborator for more than 20 years now. And we are here to talk about our, one of our recent collaborations, the transmigration of Morton F. It is a digital artwork created and commissioned by the Holland Festival. The trans transmigration of Morton F. is a um, web-based ritual. It is um, a digital opera, digital storytelling, based on the life and work of American composer Morton Feldman. Um, the work synthesizes contemporary music, opera, theater, dance, visual arts, um, virtual reality, and online gaming into one product with the goal of kind of a researching the role of the spectator in an online work and how can we shift the uh, perspective from uh, the perspective of uh, a fictional character to the spectator. Uh, um, the perspective of the spectator herself. We can watch it also. We All can of us watch can it. watch it for free online on www.mortonf.net. It is available for all everywhere. Um, the project features the legendary American singer Joan LaBarbera, for whom Morton Feldman wrote his iconic piece, Three Voices. Joan, who plays herself in the project, in the beginning, the opening sequence, she meets a young boy who she believes to be a reincarnation of her dead friend, Morton Feldman. She follows him around to what quickly becomes an Alice in Wonderland-like white rabbit chase. Um, this chase is in between different scenes, and the viewer has to kind of uh, um, find her way through um, a cemetery and collect bones in order to find the last scene. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to show you now um, the third scene from the um, uh, project. It's in this scene, Joan finds herself amidst kind of a, uh, an imaginary ritual for the creation of an abstract expressionist painting. The music is, um, chore no, it's uh, uh, Vertical, Vertical Thoughts, Thoughts 5. five. Mm -hmm. um, at a certain point, the viewer is invited to unravel a hidden layer. I will do it here from the computer. So if we can dim the lights.
While we continue talking, I will um, play a scene, a later scene from the movie, a dance a scene that was shot in a 360 degrees so the viewer can control the camera herself. And I will say a little more that our aim is to create a visual and musical experience which is deeply rooted in our contemporary culture and reflects on it. But we're noticing a new tendency in the world to segregate, to separate, and politically and socially, and of course, the same tendency arrives to the arts as well. We are noticing new walls being erected that haven't been there before, and it is a challenging thing for our sense of free thinking and open-mindedness. We experience this, this kind of a conflict almost on a daily basis in our practice. For example, the um, criticism we got for this pro uh, project by the establishment was mainly based on the fact that it is not a real opera, or it is not a real computer game, or it is not a real music theater piece. Um, and through that, we kind of learned that it seems to, the, to us that the establishment is not looking for challenging today, but rather for confirmation of what it is. It's more important to say that from our audiences, we usually don't get the same reaction. This is a very typical antagonism from the type of white, wise man pyramid. What helps us keep going in this environment, which can be pretty hostile sometimes, is the fact that we are collaborators. We take a lot of power and pleasure in the fact that we can collaborate. We dare take more risks because we collaborate, because we're doing it together. We are actively reaching out to create longer and shorter term collaboration to find our allies and our peers. And that by itself is the strongest way for us to deal with the harshest critic. Thank you very much. Have a good Thank night. you.